So the first step is to go to gifgrabber.com. Uh, go ahead and click on that link. It'll redirect you to the App Store where you can download the actual app. The second step, go ahead and find a video that you want to create a GIF from. Uh, this can be anywhere. It can be from your computer, it can be on YouTube, anywhere on the internet. It's basically going to be capturing the screen. Go ahead and launch the application GIF Grabber. So you'll see a drop down menu and then you'll also see a transparent green square. Transparent green square is where you're going to be capturing the video and then the menu uh, gives you some options if you want to capture the cursor and also what kind of format you want to capture the GIF in if you want it standard rate or HD. Go ahead and grab the transparent green square and align it to your preference. So once you've placed the transparent green square where you want it, go ahead and hit start capture. And then go ahead and play the video. So the green square is going to disappear for a bit until you stop the capture. So once you stop the capture, you'll notice the menu bar drop down and you'll see your GIF playing. Go ahead and double click on the GIF and minimize the green transparent square over. Now, this is where you can actually trim it and also select sizes. Websites such as Tumblr do not allow GIFs larger than 1.75 megabytes. You can trim the GIF to your preference. And if you wanted to drop the file size, you can actually just drop the GIF size from 175 or to 50%. Step 5. So now there's actually two ways to export. You can save directly to your desktop, which is what I prefer. Or you can generate a URL. The URL will take you to Jiffy Cat. And Jiffy Cat is actually pretty good about minimizing uh, the file size from its original file size without losing any kind of quality within the GIF. And that's pretty much it. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I'm hoping to make some more videos soon. A little bit of everything on this YouTube channel. And uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. See you again soon.